Well, I'm letting Panda warm up. I'm here at Target, Home Depot, Ralph's. Ralph's is a really good um, grocery store. They have a great selection. Yeah, I'm going to be getting um, on the road and moving locations. I've been here. Um, this will be my third day here. So I'm going to go ahead and move because I know 72 hours. You only get 72 hours in a spot. Actually, here comes two RVs now. But yeah, I didn't get harassed. Um, being by the sidewalk though, it can get a little loud while well, people walking by talking and stuff. Um, and then plus the road noise from cars going by. But um, other than that, it's not really bad. I, I enjoyed my stay here. Plus I was right by a grocery store, so food is always a good thing. But yeah, I'm going to move to a different location, not that far from here. Here we go different place to park it's not exactly where I wanted to park but you know whatever works there's other RVs here so it's good and there's not a lot of uh, traffic on the side pedestrians walking because there's no sidewalk which will probably make it for a bit quieter place to um, park so here's my new place <laughs> kind of industrial on that side and bushes on that side but hey it'll work yes not only is it a lot quieter and the street traffic is um, a lot quieter as well there's not as many cars going by the other road that I was on was really busy there was cars going by constantly also it has a bike lane right there so the cars aren't zooming right by your um, RV there's actually some space. The other one, they were like right next to my RV. And there was just a little bit of space between me and the other car zooming by or even buses would um, fly by. It's across from that, yeah, is that Easy 8 motel? That's funny. And there are plenty of RVs here. Well, I say I don't use my tow vehicle enough and I get stopped in places. So I've got it unhooked. All I gotta do is back it up that way if I need to do any running around, I'm going to use the tow vehicle. So I'm going to unhook her. And all I have to do is move Panda into a different position. I don't even have to move that far. And I can leave Sookie there and then just come back and, and grab her. And move her as well. But yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I took off my extension that I had here for the bed. I don't ever use the bed. That's my bed. I just take a few pillows off and I'm good to lay down. That's the pain in the butt. Um, so... I took the extension off and folded it up. It gives me a lot more room in the cabin area. I just want to make her a little more lightweight. And I got Sookie unhooked and I'm going to um, load some stuff up and carry it off. Such beautiful flowers outside my window. I do want to show you something I got because actually Panda's water is running out so I have to go fill it up. I bought this new um, hydro roller and it's a water container. The place that I went to was 25 cents a gallon or you could buy five gallons for a dollar. Uh, I'll show you a little later when I get there. I was using the one gallon, um, one gallon jugs, water jugs, but that's just a bit annoying to have to carry all those around because there was eight of them and this is actually eight gallons. So this is all in one, eight gallons. This is more convenient, definitely. I'll show you how I fill it up when I get to the water dispenser. Water station, 25 cents for a gallon or five gallons for one dollar. It fits perfect in there. Now all I have to do is just press the five gallon, oops, sorry, press the five gallon bucket, I mean button, and it's filling it up. Water station, it is filtered. It's a um, Micron filtered for dust, dirt, and other particles. And then there's carbon filter and reverse osmosis. Also, ultraviolet light disinfects those carbon filter. And then fresh tasting great water. A dollar for five gallons is not bad. 
Alright, I just want to show y'all that. My nifty little hydro roller. Well, I just got through washing clothes and uh, got all that done. 